On day one, I spawned in as Tanjiro. I was at home when my sister Nezuko quickly approached me. You better deliver that coal before mom gets mad. Oh man, I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me. I quickly grabbed the coal from our chest and started to make my way toward the village. I hadn't gone far when I started to smell something absolutely terrible. Ugh, what is that? I heard screaming coming from my house. Wait, what? I was just there. I rushed back and saw a strange blur fleeing. What was that thing? I rushed inside my home and saw only Nezuko was there and she was badly injured. Nezuko, what happened to you? Where's mom? Where's everyone else? You need to flee before that monster comes back. Wait, what? What monster? We need to get you some help. Come on. I helped Nezuko up and we began to run toward the nearby village. Someone, someone please help. We ran down the mountain looking for a nearby village. I noticed Nezuko stopped following me. What's wrong? Are you okay? Look, we gotta keep going. Nezuko jumped and attacked me. Hey, hey, what are you doing? She roared and kept attacking me. Stop, but please. I tried fighting back against her, but she was so much stronger than me and it only made her angrier. This isn't you. Out of nowhere, someone came in and knocked Nezuko aside. Who are you? Here to save you. The samurai dodged Nezuko's attacks and was about to kill her. Wait, what? No, 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 don't kill her. She's my family. It seemed like he listened to me because he just knocked her out. Please, just let's not do anything we're gonna regret. Just let me find her some help. Fine, but it's your funeral. She's a demon now. Wait, where are you going? Demon? What did he mean by demon? I quickly built her a hut so she wouldn't run off while I ran to go get her some help. Don't worry, sister. I'll be back soon. I promise. On day three, I finally found a village nearby, but it was oddly quiet. Where is everybody? I walked around to see if I can see anyone. Hello? Is anyone here? What's that? What's that smell? I found someone and I walked up to him, but oh no. The demon turned around and a mob of demons joined them. They were just like Nezuko. I need to get out of here. I ran away from the swarm. I went into a clearing and the sun was out. Ugh, I kept running, but then I didn't hear the demons behind me anymore. I turned around and they were all dying in front of me. I guess they couldn't handle the sun. Perfect. Okay, I need to go back to Nezuko and make sure that the sun didn't get her too. I went back into the hut and she was awake. She immediately started to attack me. Please, just, just stop. Don't you understand? It's me, Tanjiro, your brother. She stopped and started crying. That's right, sister. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Amazing. I've never seen a demon not eat a human. The samurai uh, appeared. It's you again. What do you want? My name is Giyu. I am a demon slayer. A demon slayer? Yes. You want to save your sister, right? Yes, I do. More, more than anything. I want to save her and stop these demons from hurting anyone else. I've asked my master, Urokodaki, to help train you. Become a demon slayer, and maybe you'll find the answers you're looking for. On day four, I arrived at the location that Giyu gave me. I knocked on the door. Hello? Is there anyone home? A man came out and introduced himself as a Rokudaki. Giyu said you would be coming. Yeah, uh, my family. They were attacked and- I already know your family was attacked by a very powerful demon. Yeah, that's right. He told me he wasn't sure who it was, but he can sense that his strength was greater than any demon he had ever faced. Well, that's not a great sign. Listen, I don't know what I need to do, but I want- to defeat him, and I'm going to. In time, maybe you will. Until then, I will train you. Here, take these. Training starts tomorrow. Nezuko can rest here for now. He threw me a set of tools that he made for all of his trainees, as well as a black katana. Perfect. Thanks so much. I left his house and gathered materials from the nearby forest. I used the wood to build a house and even added a few chests. After finishing my home, I was feeling extremely sad about everything that happened to my family. I decided to create a small monument in their honor. Who was that demon? that attacked them, and, and why would they do that? What's so special about us? I promise, guys, I will avenge you. On day five, I began my training with Irokodaki. He made me run around the mountains by his house and braided me for not being quick enough. Good, now you are ready to learn a more advanced technique. He demonstrated a water breathing technique and then used it to create a water slash from his katana. Now you do it to this boulder and do not think about leaving until it is cut in half. Wait, what? This boulder? Okay, um, yeah, this can't be that hard. It's just a piece of cake. I rushed at it and hit it with my sword. Ah, that thing is not gonna go down easily. I continue to try to cut it. Come on, but it won't budge. Ah, and then after a while, it finally became dark out. Wow, how am I ever gonna defeat a demon if I can't even defeat a stupid rock? <laughs> No fair, you're way stronger than me. <laughs> you can do anything if you just believe in yourself. Wow, Nezuko, you're right. Come on, just gotta believe. <laughs> 
cut directly through the boulder. I did it. I was able to do it. I created a water slash. Excellent. Um, how long have you been standing there watching me? Long enough. Now you have one final test. On day six, I was wandering through a dark forest like a Rokudaki had told me to. What could possibly be the reason for this? How is this a test at all? I got this strange scent in my nose. Hmm, where have I smelt this before? I started to follow it and came across a large, disturbing looking creature. Well, look at that. Are you the latest weakling Rokudaki scent? Oh man, this final test was to kill an actual demon? I'm stronger than you think, and I'm gonna show you. I have defeated every student a Rokudaki has ever trained. It is only a matter of time before demons take over this pathetic world. The demon's hands shot up from the ground and came came directly at me. I started to fight back using my sword and I can tell I was doing some pretty decent damage to him. The fight raged on and he was incredibly resilient. Why even fight? Your family is gone and soon you will be too. Don't you dare talk about my family. I jumped into the air and delivered my water breathing technique, taking down the demon for good. Man, and what did he mean by demons taking over the world? I need to find out more about this. I headed back toward Orokudaki, feeling confident in my abilities. On day seven, I returned to Orokudaki's house, and he was waiting for me outside. Incredible. You actually killed the demon? Yep. Wasn't that the test? Of course. I just wasn't sure you could do it. You're a full-fledged demon slayer now. What's this? A demon slayer uniform? He also told me that my sword was extremely unique. That's amazing. Training complete. While you were gone, I also made this for Nezuko. A box? Um, what? He told me that he had hypnotized her into protecting me and created the box so that she'd be able to move around during the daytime with me. Um, okay, well, thank you for all of this. I never could have done it without you. If you want to find the demon responsible for changing Nezuko and killing your family, you must find the first demon there ever was, Muzan. Muzan? So he's the one responsible for all of this. On day eight, I set out toward the village where my first mission was going to take place. Now, I just need to find this demon. I got a sense of something disgusting in the village. Ugh. I followed it until I came across a large horned demon. Hey, I'm here to defeat you. Defeat me? <laughs> This the horn demon rushed at me and knocked me straight back. Ah, wow. This guy seems to be much stronger than that last guy. I knew I could take him on, though. So I rushed at him and began using my water breath technique on him. We continued to fight through the streets, and I can tell he was much stronger than I was. He knocked me back, and I was sure this is going to be the end for me. But suddenly, Nezuko appeared out of the box. She rushed at the demon, and they began to fight. With her help, I was able to take him down. Nezuko was extremely tired from the fight, though, so she quickly went back inside the box. Sister, uh, thank you. I guess that was mission accomplished. After the fight with the demon, I was approached by a villager. Thank you for defeating the demon! Here, take a fresh bowl of udon! Oh, thanks. As I scarfed it down, suddenly, a very familiar scent passed through my nose. <laughs> Wait, I know that smell. I started running towards the source as fast as I could. Hey, you! Stop right there! Do I know you? Your scent? Wait, it was you. What did you do to my family? I know nothing of your family. The man turned around and started to walk away. No! Ugh. I reached out for my sword and prepared to strike him. You're not ready. I turned around and smelt another demon, but she didn't attack me. Come with me. On days 11 to 12, I followed the demon into her house to get some answers. Who are you? My name is Tameo, and as you can tell, I am a demon, just like the one you're holding on your back. Wait, you're a demon, but you seem kind of nice. I didn't think there would be any like that. Well, looks may be deceiving, but I must warn you, Luzon is not a demon you can easily defeat, nor his minions. Tamayo told me about the 12 demon moons, the strongest demons under Muzan, and how each one has a special technique called blood demon art. Nezuko came out. Hmm, there's something special about her. If you can collect the aura of the stronger demons, like the 12 moons, then I may be able to make a cure for your sister. Wait, a cure? You can? Okay, this is great. You hear that, Nezuko? There's a way to save you. Tamayo warned me. It's not very likely to work, and it'll be extremely dangerous to attempt, but I did didn't care. I wanted my sister to be cured. We headed off back toward my base. We had just arrived while the sun was starting to rise, and I heard something flying overhead. 
a demon has been taking villagers inside a house. Go there now. Okay, all right, man. Ah, you don't have to be so loud. With Nezuko still on my back, we headed out. As we arrived outside the base, a demon slayer was crying to a villager. Please, you've got to protect me from the demon. I don't want to go in there. Hmm, tough luck, pal. The villager quickly left the samurai. And honestly, I can't blame them. Will you protect me, mister? The name's Tanjiro, and you are... <laughs> Zenitsu. Fine, I'll protect you and take care of this demon. Just watch my box for me while I'm gone, okay? Zenitsu agreed, and I went inside the house to find a demon with drums attached to it. He uses drums to slash and disorient me. This is tough, but I've got to concentrate. I managed to dodge his attacks and use water breathing nine form, splashing water flow, turbulent, to defeat him. On days 15 to 16, I left the house and saw another samurai hurting Zenitsu. Move out of the way. I know there's a demon in there. No, I made a promise to protect this box. Hey, what are you doing to Zenitsu and my sister? I ran in and pushed the samurai out of the way. <laughs> yes, let's fight. The samurai tried to attack me, but I was far stronger than he was. I was able to swiftly dodge his attacks and knock him out. That should come you down, mister. I woke the samurai up. Listen, we're both demon slayers here, so why don't you, me, and Zenitsu work together to slay demons instead of fighting, okay? Who even are you? Inosuke! And sure, but next time, you won't be so lucky. Great, and uh, the name's Tanjiro, not that you were asking. All right, you have yourself a deal. The three of us began to make our way back toward my base. There's a boy with Hanafuda-like earrings on. Lure him here and dispose of him. Do this and I'll make sure you get the family you've always wanted. Yes, Lord Muzan. It will be done. No one must know who I am until I conquer the sun. On days 17 to 18, we returned to the base. I planned to build houses for Zenitsu and Inosuke. But first, I gave Inosuke some food to heal him from the injuries. With more people here, it's safe to say that I'm gonna need to go get more food. I decided it was a good time to build a farm. I collected seeds and then returned home and planted them. After finishing, the three of us took the time to make each of them a base. We started with a house for Zenitsu and then made one for Inosuke. Once both of them had houses, I decided to expand mine as well. I even gave it a Demon Slayer themed field. I went back inside, and Nezuku was awake. I approached her and asked if she was okay. She gave me a nod, and I understood. I'm just glad she was able to stretch her legs after being confined in a box for so long. I think I found a way to help her, too. I explained the two of them my plan to fight stronger demons, and eventually, moves on. That sounds scary, but if it's to save Nezuko, then I'll help. Fighting strong demons? Now that's what I'm talking about. Count me in. Great. We're a team, then. On day Days 19 to 20, I was woken up by a sound. Is that the messenger crow again? Ugh, just five more minutes. Demon slayers are killing each other. And I haven't seen any of my slips in the mountains. Go there. Demon slayers killing each other? Ugh, this can't be true. I grabbed Nezuko and the crow guided us to the mountains. Once we reached, I can see that it was completely covered in spider webs. There was a loud scream and I ran inside. There were demon slayers and they were fighting each other just like the crow had said. Stop guys. Guys, we're both on the same side here. The Slayers stopped fighting each other. That's much better, guys. Oh, no. They both ran at me and started to attack me. Hey, hey that's not what I meant. They rushed at me from both sides. Please, stop. I don't want to hurt you. I can't control myself. I dodged their attacks and knocked each of them out. That should do it. What is going on, though? The foul stench of a demon passed through my nose. I looked up and noticed a monstrous-looking creature heading into the forest. All right, time. Time to rush after it. I traveled deeper inside and came across a clearing where I saw it standing there. The young demon slayer that's been causing trouble. How do you know who I am? We all know of you. My family was tasked to kill you. The demon rushed at me and we began to fight. He leapt into the air and caused a massive explosion when he landed. Ah, oh, this must be one of the most powerful demons Tamayo was talking about. He continued to attack me and I started running low on hearts. I thought back to Nezuko and how I couldn't give up. I used my fourth form, Striking Tide. I lunged at him with a burst of water and struck him rapidly. He fell to the ground, defeated 
defeated. You may have taken me down, but the demons will rule this world. You are no match for the rest of my family. I grabbed some of his aura to take to Tamayo and began to leave the forest. The rest of his family? I didn't know demons had families. He is more powerful than we thought. On days 24 to 26, I arrived at Tamayo's home. I gave her the aura I collected from the demon. Yeah, that guy was way more powerful than I thought. This does seem to be from a strong demon, but I'm not sure it'll work for the cure. Before I killed him, though, he mentioned that his family was far more powerful. That sounds like it's going to be a problem. I think he is referring to Rui, the lower rank 5 demon. He is incredibly powerful. His aura may be more useful to us. Well, I guess I'm going to have to defeat him as well then. Eventually, but now I do not think you are ready to to fight such a powerful... Uh, who's that? But before I can get there, a group of demon slayers broke through the door. You're coming with me. Who are you? Before he answered, he rushed at me and started to attack. Hey! He hit me really hard and knocked me out. Uh, on days 27 to 29, I woke up in a totally different area. Ugh, where am I? I was standing in front of a strange man. Behind me were nine other people that looked like demon slayers as well. Guys, what's the deal with all of this? Hello, I am Master Kagaya Ubuyashiki, leader of the Demon Slayer Corps. Behind you are the Hashira, here to witness your trial. The Hashira? The most powerful and- Wait, did you say trial? Yes, you are accused of sheltering a demon while being a demon slayer. Wait, no, 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 but that's my sister. And plus, she defended me multiple times. Master Ubuyashiki demanded to see proof that she would not harm a human. All right, sister. I let Nezuku out of her box and prayed that she wouldn't attack me or one of the Hashiras. Nezuko stood there for a second and looked around at all the people. She refused to attack them despite one of the Hashira taunting her. She went back into her box to rest. Maybe we have misjudged you, little demon slayer. My sincerest apologies. No worry. He dismissed the rest of the Hashira and began asking me about my missions. I told him of my travels and how I had come face to face with Muzan himself. He was very impressed to hear that I had survived an interaction with the demon king himself. My jacket and clothes were given an armor upgrade. Sweet! Fighting demons is going to be so much easier with this. On days 30 to 32, I made it back to my base. To my surprise, it looked like it had been attacked. Everything was in ruins. I smelt the scent of a demon, and this was one I hadn't smelt before. I rushed to find my friends. Where could they be? I called out to them, and they finally came out of hiding. They were inside one of the destroyed houses. What happened, guys? The base was attacked by an incredibly powerful demon. And Nosuke began to describe the demon's appearance, as well as his ability to use spider-like powers. This must have been Rui, the rank 5 moon demon. How did you guys survive his attacks? He was looking for you, so he fled once he realized you were not here. I'm happy that you guys are okay. I didn't want any more people that I cared about getting hurt. Together, the three of us began to work on rebuilding the base. It took some time, but eventually, we built everything right back up. All right, the base is finished. Guys, I think it's time I go deal with this demon. They begged to come with me, but I told them it was something I needed to do alone. I set off back toward the forest. On days 33 to 35, I made my way through the forest, following the scent of the demon. As I went deeper inside, a group of spider demons attacked. They weren't very strong, but there were a lot of them. I was able to take all of them down using my water breathing technique. I see you have chosen to make my life easier by coming here. He charged at me, quickly using his web powers and inflicting a ton of damage. I used my water breathing techniques to fight back against them, but they were completely useless. I got hit again, and I fell to the ground, severely wounded. Nezuko came to my aid and stopped Rui from delivering a final blow. The sister protects the brother. A strong bond I must have. Listen here, Tanjiro. Our family works with fire, so to ward off injuries and disasters, our family performs this dance. Wow, Dad! That's amazing! If you master the breathing correctly, you can use this and pass on our legacy. Whoa, was that a memory? I saw Nezuko fighting with Rui. The Hinokami Kagura dance. I lunged at Rui, summoning a massive dragon. It didn't seem like it was going to be enough, though, to take him down, unless Nezuko used her demon blood exploding technique, and we were able to knock him to the ground. You may have won, 
But Muzan will definitely be after you now. He died, and I collected his aura for Tameo. Hopefully, this will be able to cure Nezuko. As I exited the forest, one of the Hashiras, Ren Goku, was standing there waiting for me. What are you doing here? Very impressive. You were able to take out Rui all by yourself. Wait, you were watching me the entire time? I almost died. Why didn't you help? I wanted to see how strong you truly were. You guys really are something. I'm gonna go talk to Tamayo. Thanks for nothing. Ren Goku stopped me and told me that he had something far more important than I was needed for right now. I was still angry, but as a Hashira, I believed he knew better than I did. You are all weak and worthless. You have disappointed me for the last time. But sir, if you... <laughs> You don't seem afraid of death. I have a task for you. Anything you ask of me. On days 39 to 41, Ren Goku led me back to Master Ubuyashiki. He began to explain that Muzan was growing more and more powerful and creating more demons to attack the world. It is only a matter of time before he is too strong for us to defeat. Well, how are we gonna stop him then? We need to locate his base and weaken his demon core. Ubuyashiki was hoping with my nose I would be able to locate his base and we can formulate a plan to take him out. I told him I would do my best to locate it and I could even recruit some of my friends to help me as well. He was happy I was willing to help and gave me some golden apples as a thank you. Now, get a move on. We're all counting on you. Thank you. I'll do my best. I promise. I rushed off toward my base to ask my friends for help. On days 42 to 44, I returned to base, and to my surprise, the boys had been busy while I was gone. Inosuke had decided to lure some sheep, and Zenitsu had even expanded the farm. Wow, guys. This is awesome. Thanks. To show my appreciation, I spent some time upgrading their homes with them. Now it was really starting to feel fit for a group of demon slayers. I then told the boys about Master Ubiyashiki's plan, and how we would need to go split up and go locate Muzan's base. Sounds like fun to me. We set off from the base, and I began to travel through biome after biome, trying to locate any trice of Muzan. I suddenly caught the smell of him. Where was that coming from, though? I followed it until I came across a massive castle. Yep, well, I guess this must be his base then. Although the plan was to locate his base and return to Master Ubuyashiki, I needed revenge for my family. Time to rush inside and finish this for good. I entered the castle and began to follow the scent of Muzan. This place was even creepier on the inside. Eventually, I found myself in a room with a demon. I was shocked to find out it wasn't Muzan himself. Who are you? Hello, Tanjiro. This is the end of the road for you. Wait, how do you know who I am? You've made quite a name for yourself. Muzan wants you taken out. He upgraded me specifically for it. The demon began to summon hands from the ground, and they attacked me at all angles. Oh no. I did my best to fight back, but he was far too strong. I used my water breathing techniques, but they didn't seem to be very effective against him. I was starting to run low on health. Muzan is going to be so proud of me. Before he can hit me again, Nezuko jumped out of her box and began to fight against the demon. This gave me enough time to escape. Nezuko, come quick. The two of us rushed out of the castle and I can hear the demon laughing in the distance. As we left, I began to feel so weak though. Oh, that fight was a lot harder than I thought. Oh, on days 48 to 50, I woke up in a familiar place. I was at Tamayo's home, and she was healing my wounds. Oh, what happened? I found you attempting to struggle back to your base, so I brought you here to heal you. She then told me that she found the sample of the Rui aura that I'd been carrying. Wait, does that mean that you try to make it a cure? She told me that unfortunately, the aura wasn't powerful enough either. Ah, oh, great. We're gonna need to find an even stronger demon, and that guy was already pretty tough. There's this other one too. I told her about the demon that I just fought, and explained how Muzan had upgraded him to fight me. Maybe that was a demon powerful enough to cure you're Nezuko. It is worth a shot, but the condition you are in, you won't stand a chance alone. Don't you understand, Tamayo? I have to try. Thanks for everything, but I think it's time for me to head back to my base. You summoned me? The young demon slayer has been traveling with a demon. A demon that seems to be very special. What would you like me to do? Listen very carefully. On days 51 to 53, I returned back home. Huh, let's see. It looks like none of my friends are back. Great. I went inside my base and took Nezuko out of her box. I looked at her and I started to feel 
incredibly sad. Man, I need to find out how to cure this terrible curse. Although she didn't say anything, I can tell that she understood what I was saying. Don't worry, sister. You will be human again. Get out of here! It was Ren Goku. But what was he doing in my base? I rushed outside. Hey, why are you here? Master Ubu Yashiki sensed you were in grave danger from a very powerful demon. Oh, about that. I quickly caught him up about my run-ins with this demon. He then told me he would go and fight the demon alone. Hey, 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 that is not a good idea, okay? You're gonna need help, and I'm gonna be the one to help you. It's about your sister, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I need to cure her, okay? He didn't say anything, but finally motioned for me to come with him. Great! I began to lead him toward the demon. On days 54 to 56, Ren Goku and I made our way back to the castle. I guided him to where the demon was originally, but oh no, he's not here. Where could he have gone? Looking for someone? I looked up and noticed the demon was above us. He used his demon hand abilities to separate Ren Goku and I. I was trapped on one side with the demon, and he was on the other side, having to fight off against the demon's hands. We engaged in combat, and I could tell I was still outmatched significantly, but I had to keep fighting. Nezuko's life depended on it. I ate one of my gold and apples and started to feel much stronger. Give up now. Make this easy. No, I will never give up. I called out for Nezuko and she came to my aid. Together fighting side by side, we set more of a chance against this demon. Nezuko was hit to the side. No, I began to become enraged. Kinokami Kagura. Clear blue sky. I leapt into the air and performed a fire technique. That took him down for good. Way to go, kid. That was impressive. Ah, oh, thanks. I collected the demon's aura and we made our way out of the castle. On days 57 to 59, as we exited the castle, I got a smell of something strange. It was another demon. I see you killed another demon of the lower moons. Are you strong enough to fight an upper moon? The demon lunged at us and knocked me back. Run Goku began to fight him off and it seemed as though they were evenly matched. I rushed in to try and help but the demon kept knocking me back and continued to fight with Rengoku. Eventually, he hit him aside with a fatal attack and Rengoku dropped to the ground. I charged at him and he hit me at the ground, knocking Nezuko off me. Muzan has plans for her. He looked like he was about to finish me, but then he stopped. I looked up and noticed the sun was rising. The demon grabbed Nezuko and ran off as fast as he could to avoid the sunlight. No, sister! I made my way over to Rengoku. We need to get you some help, fast. I'm afraid it's over over for me. I believe in you. I believe in Nezuko and no, you will both make this right. He died due to his injuries. No, I promise. You will not die in vain. On days 60 to 62, I returned to my base feeling defeated. I just lost my sister and I failed to save one of the Hashiras. To clear my head, I decided to make a monument in Ren Goku's honor. He said he believed in me. And you know what? I needed to start believing in myself. As I was finishing the monument, my friends returned and told me they had good news. I could really use some of that right now. I think we found Muzan's hideout. Wait, really? That was good news. Where is it? And Nosuke began to explain that he could sense a very powerful demon in this tower. Sure enough, they waited there until nighttime and they spotted a demon entering the tower. They began to describe the demon and it was the same demon I'd seen all those days ago. It was Muzan himself. All right, I had to tell Ubu Yashiki. Once I do that, we can move on to the next step of the plan. On days 63 to 65, I arrived at Master Ubuyashiki's location. Master, my sister, she was captured by one of Muzan's demons. I am so sorry to hear about your sister. It's okay. I'm gonna go right now and I'm gonna get her back. Don't worry. How about no? You will die. You stand no chance to defeat Muzan. But Ren Goku told me that he believed in me. He began to explain to me that he also believed in my abilities and thought I could eventually take down Muzan. Now, was not the time though. He started to lay out a plan that involved taking out the upper demons before going after Muzan. We know that one of the upper moons is hiding in a city not too far from here. You know what? I'm starting to think that you're right. I guess I'll have to find another way to get Nezuko back. He then sent me off to go train with Tengen. I guess he would help me on this mission. Excellent work, Akaza. You are a very special demon. I have some serious plans for you. 
On day 66 to 68, Tengen arrived at my base and told me my training would begin. He didn't seem very happy to have to train me, and I wasn't sure why. We began a fight, and yep, he is a lot more powerful than I thought he was. He used his sound breathing techniques against me, and they were nothing I'd ever seen before. Whoa, that was incredible. Can you teach me how to do all that? Never. I am not sure why I'm even here training you pathetic weaklings. What's your deal? Master Ubiyashiki told me to train with you so I can get stronger and then help you. Tengen began to explain that neither me nor my friends were ready to take on an upper moon demon. Rengoku might still be alive if he had stronger help. What did you say? Listen, this is why I'm here. I'm trying to get stronger. He didn't care. I was enraged and I charged at him using my Hinokami Kagura dance. Tengen stepped out of the way and my attack totally missed him. Well, like it or not, you need me to help you with this. He knew that I was right and just shook his head. Come on, kid. We have a demon to slay. On days 69 to 71, Tengen and I arrived at the city. Apparently, the demon was hiding out at this place. We split up to search more ground, and I began to use my nose to try and locate any demon scents. It wasn't long until I caught the smell of something vile. Ugh. I followed the scent and came across an alley where I saw a demon. Hey, you stop right now. The demon looked at me and hit me, sending me flying into one of the buildings. Ugh, that hurt. Oh, you survived. Maybe you're not as weak as you look. She charged directly at me, and I tried to fight back against the demon, but she was so fast. I used my water breathing techniques and can tell I was dealing some serious damage to her, but not enough. I was starting to lose my heart. I thought it might be the end, but Tengen must have heard our fighting and appeared. You need to get out of here, kid. I'll hold her off. I didn't want to leave him, but I was too weak to fight anymore. I had to flee. I left as the two of them fought and headed back toward my base. On day 72 to 74, I arrived back home, once again feeling defeated. When I arrived, Zenitsu and Inosuke were waiting for me. They gave me food. Ah, oh, thanks guys. I told them how I had failed and was too weak to fight the upper moon demon. I left Tengen there all alone. We believe in your strength. You just need to believe in yourself more. Seriously, you're the strongest person we know. Thanks, guys. I was starting to feel really inspired by their words. You know what? It's time I set back toward the city and help Tengen. I was running back when I spotted a bear. Suddenly, there was a flash of light and I was back at my family home with my father. I watched as he snuck up on a bear and killed it before he turned to me. If you remain calm during any fight, you can always defeat your enemy. Just remember, Breathe, believe in yourself, son, and stay calm. Ugh, I was back, staring at this bear. Wow, I guess it triggered a flashback. I miss my family. I'll have to remember to stay calm while in conflict. Hey, take a picture. It'll last longer, jerk. Oh, s sorry. On day 75 to 77, I arrived back at the city and looked for Tengen. He was still fighting with the demon. But when I got there, he defeated her. I spoke too soon because there was a monstrous voice coming from her body. Once I'm finished with her, Muzan will be happy to know I took you to town. Another demon spawned from her body and began a fight with Tengen. Oh, my head. I had to join the fight in order to save him and the city. This time, I did my best to remain calm, just like my father had told me all those years ago. I was able to avoid their attacks and use a water breathing technique to inflict some serious damage. We must finish them now to save this city, kid. I rushed in and used everything I had to try and slow their advances. Tengen and I summoned the last of our energy and used our breathing techniques. We connected and took down those demons together. Ooh, look at that. I guess you did need me. I collected both of the demon's auras. All right, Tengen, let's go. We headed back toward my base. On day 78 to 80, I returned to base with Tengen. He was still severely injured, so I gave him the last of the golden apples I had. After eating them, he said he was starting to feel much better. He was still in no condition, though, to travel. So the boys and I got to work building him a house. And to my surprise, he was grateful for once. Uh, maybe you guys aren't so bad after all. He then went on to explain that he only acted the way he did because he didn't want us to be in harm's way, and he apologized for the way he treated us. I am happy you were there for me. Without you, I don't think I would be here. Quickly, toss me your sword. My sword? Okay. I did as he said, and Tengen turned away momentarily. When he turned back, I saw that a piece of my sword was replaced. Wait a minute. Is that Rengoku's sword? Tengen decided it was time for him to retire. He didn't believe he would ever recover from his injury. What? 
You can't be serious. We still need your help. I want you all to know, Rengoku would be very proud of you all right now. We all thanked Tengen for his kind words, and honestly, for inspiring us to be better Demon Slayers. On days 81 to 85, I was preparing to travel to Master Ubiyashiki's. I needed to deliver the good news of the Upper Moon's death. My preparation, though, was interrupted by someone, and whoever it was, he was standing outside my base. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you? Do you like what you see? Wait, it was Muzan! But how? How, how are you out during the daylight? This is impossible! Your sister provided me with everything I need to take my last weakness away. Now the world will see the true wrath of demons. Nezuko stepped out from behind him, and she was working with him? I pleaded with her. Please, don't do this! Muzan commanded her to attack me, and she rushed toward me, using her blood demon techniques. I continued to beg her to stop. This isn't you, sister! But I think she was brainwashed. I didn't want to hurt her, so I turned my attention to Muzan. I rushed at him, and used my water breathing techniques, but he easily dodged them. You weak fool. Muzan started to fight back, and was by far the strongest demon I had ever faced. There was no way I would be able to take him down right now. Now is not the time. We need to get out of here. Ah, he's right. We had to retreat. I grabbed the boys and we all ran away together toward the Demon Slayer Mansion. On days 86 to 90, we arrived at the Demon Slayer Mansion. Master Ubiyashiki was excited to see us until we revealed the reason we arrived. Oh, that is troubling news. He then continued to say that Muzan was always limited by his ability to travel during the day. Yeah, but now he has no limit. Limitations. He might be unstoppable. Our conversation was interrupted, though, by a messenger crow. Yeah, our Kaja is waiting for you! Ubiyashiki said this would be a good way to weaken Muzan. You know what? What else do we have to lose? I rushed off toward the location. When I arrived, Akaza was waiting for me. Now, when I defeat you, Muzan will definitely upgrade me again. He charged at me using his demon abilities. Uh, this guy was faster than I was, but I wasn't gonna back down now. I continued to fight against him and started to feel myself growing more and more confident in my abilities. I knew I needed to take out Akaza and save Nezuko. How did you become so strong? Because I'm fighting for something bigger than myself. Fifth form, setting sun, transformation. I unleashed a massive fire attack and took down Akaza. With this aura, I hope Tamayo can make the cure for Nezuko. Please work, please. I rushed off to find her. On days 91 and 94, I arrived at Tamayo's office and gave her the auras from the upper moon demons. If there is a way to cure your sister, these auras will be more than enough. I thanked her for all of her hard work. Seriously, you didn't have to do this, but she told me not to thank her yet. We still had to deliver the cure. Here. Suddenly, Nezuko burst through the door and started to attack Tamayo and I. Nezuko, stop! We don't want to fight you! We only want to help you! But she didn't listen. I couldn't fight back. How could I attack my own sister? I just stood there while she continued to fight me. Nezuko, please, if you're in there, just listen to me. I love you, and none of us want to hurt you. Nezuko stopped attacking and looked at me. What was she thinking? While Nezuko was stunned, Tamayo was able to run up and inject her with a cure. Her skin slowly started to change back to normal. Normal. Uh, where am I? The cure looks like it worked. She was better. Oh, I'm so happy to have you back. Thanks for not giving up on me. You are the best big brother in the world. I ran up and gave her a hug. I'm so happy. I was never going to stop fighting until you were okay. I'm just thankful we were both able to make it. On days 95 to 99, I returned to the Demon Slayer Mansion with a cured Nezuko. Everyone was so excited to see I was able to complete my mission. Oh, what wonderful news. We now have the ability to cure all the other demons. He was right. With the cure being effective on Nezuko, we can use it to save everyone else. Except Muzan. That guy killed my family. Now we just needed to formulate a plan to draw Muzan into the open. We didn't have a long time to plan though, because suddenly there was an explosion and Muzan and his army of demons began to attack the base. Now we will be able to take all the demon slayers out at once. Everyone leapt into action and began to fight back against the army of demons. We did our best to cure as many as we can, but some were unsavable and continued to attack us after being cured. Tanjiro, we will hold them off. We need to stop Muzan once and for all. He was right. I saw him making his way through the mansion and I chased after him. It was day 100. I was standing in front of Muzan, ready to finish what he had started. Tanjiro, do you really think you stand a chance against me? 
I don't think I stand a chance. I know I do. You are weaker than you think, Muzan. Muzan began to transform into a monstrous looking demon. He started to summon a fury of attacks at me and charged me rapidly. I began to fight back using everything I had. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to handle all these attacks, but I pressed on and kept going. I remained calm and continued to fight back against him. You can do it. You are the strongest person in the world. I believe in you. Muzan must have heard her talking to me and he began to charge at her too. Leave her alone. I jumped into the air and used my clear blue sky technique, sending him flying backwards. Uh, how is he so powerful? Now was my chance. I summoned all of my strength and used one final technique, setting sun transformation. Impossible! I delivered the strike and took him down for good. The world was finally free from the plague of demons.